Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hello. Hi, Roxana. Hi, Guadalupe. Hi, Hi. Hi Lizzie. Hi. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. Teacher. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi, Walter. Very good. Hi. Alex, very good. Alejandra and James, Amy, very good. Nice. And Mirna also. And Xiomara, very good. So, everybody, Hi. welcome Hello. to class. Hi. Hello. How was your day today? Was it okay? Thank you. Okay. It was good? Okay. Excellent. Very yes. good. All right. Was okay. there too much traffic today in San Salvador or not so much? So much. Not so much. Not too so much. much. Oh, all right. Very good. Now, I do you... Wrong. Too much. Too much traffic. Yeah, I know. Too eh? Very good. Today. Yeah. Okay. Do you have too much work or not so much? Yes, too much. Too much. Ah, all right. Okay. Very good. <coughs> all right. Very good. Okay, guys. So yesterday and the day before, we were talking about counts and non-count nouns. And yesterday, we were talking about quantifiers, okay? So okay. today, we're going to okay. talk about the last topic of this session, of this, yeah. So we're talking about indirect questions, okay? Are you ready? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Let's begin. Get away. Let's begin then. Very good. So I have this one as every day. I have something for you here so we can share it. Uy, no vean las respuestas todavía. Ay, no dicen nada. All right. Very good. So we have direct I need to and... take a picture. I know, eh? Direct and uh, uh, indirect questions. Okay. So we have two types of questions in English. One of them is direct, which is like, I can say, where is the bank? Okay, I ask, for example, I say, Walter, where's the bank? And that's a direct question. Or I say, Alex Aguilera, uh, do you know what, I mean, what time, does the, what time does the bank open? That's a direct question. Okay, or if I say, Daniel, um, is the library open? All right, those are direct questions, but today, to ask indirect questions, which they are nicer or they are polite, okay? So we have this, uh, this right here. Alex Aguilera, can you read it, please? Okay, direct questions. Uh -huh. the, uh, okay, direct questions are the normal questions that we can ask friends, family members, and people who we know well. Very good. Example. Example of a direct direct question. Where is the bathroom? I said, where's the bathroom? Okay, and all right, very good. Where's the bathroom? That's my direct question. Now, pay attention to what it says here. You can ask normal questions uh, to friends, family members, and people we know well, okay? I say, hey, um, Daniel, where's the bathroom? Or I say, Ali, where's the bathroom? Or I say, Roxana, where is, I don't know, the cafeteria, small question, okay? Now, when we talk about in, uh, indirect questions, uh, let's see, uh, uh, Roxana, can you read this please for me? Indicted questions. Indicted questions are a little more formal and polite. And we polite, them, polite. And, and polite. Mm -hmm. I'm polite. We use them when talking to a person we don't know very well or in a professional situation. And their form is a little different. Okay, thank you. Indirect questions, they are a little bit more formal, okay? And polite, okay? We use them when we talk about or when we talk to a person we don't know very well or in a professional situation, for example, a boss, a supervisor, a manager, I don't say, um, I don't know, to my boss, I don't say, hey, where's the bathroom? All right, that's not very nice, okay? Not for the boss or not for the manager, okay? So direct questions. Uh, Glenda, can you read it, please? Can you read the example? Uh, your mic is off, Glenda. 
Glenda, your microphone is off. I can't hear you. There you go. Sorry. That's okay. Example of an indirect question. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me where the bathroom is? Oh, thank you very much, Glenda. So we have, um, the example is, could you tell me where the bathroom is? All right, and the, look at the other one that we studied before. Where is the bathroom? A little bit different. This is very direct. Where's the bathroom? This one is, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Do you do you realize about the change? And yes. What change in the uh, indirect question? Um, so when you are using an indirect question, and the the order of subject and verb change. Yeah, and also you are using could you tell me? <laughs> in this <laughs> one here, no could you tell me? Only where is the bathroom? Only the WH question direct. word, direct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you say, where is the bathroom? You have WH question plus is, and then the complement. And in this one, you have, could you tell me, WH question, but the verb be is at the end. Do you notice that? Yes. Do you understand? Uh, Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now here, I'm going to give you some phrases for indirect questions. Okay. These phrases, they go at the beginning of the question. For example, could you tell me? Another one, do you know? Number three, I was wondering. Number four, do you have any idea? Next one, I would like to know. Would it be possible? Is there any chance? So these are examples of phrases that we use a, when we are talking about indirect questions. All of these ones are going to go at the beginning of your question. Okay, you understand that? Okay, so I can say, for example, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Or I can say, do you know where the bathroom is? Yeah? Hola, hola. Teacher, puede poner la anterior para tomarle captura. Esta o esta, la, esta. La, no, la que puso después que es. Esta. Yes. La anterior. Oh. Esta no es. Yeah. Too much noise. Thank you. I know. Too much noise today again, niños. Hay un como bebé, creo, llorando por ahí. Se ahí en su casita. Pongamos el micrófono en silencio, please. Thank you. Ah, nice. Peace. <laughs> All right. Very good. Finish Noemi. Noe finished? Noemi, are you finished? Yes? Okay. I hope I hope you are. Okay. So now we have these ones. Tomenle foto a estas porque esas son las frases con las que por lo general eh, usamos una indirect question. Finished? Yes. Okay. Finish. Okay, now here we have where is the bathroom? Norma, are you there, Normita? Norma Campos? Yeah. Okay, Norma, could you read where is the bathroom? Can you continue reading, please? Could you tell me where the bathroom is? Okay, indirect yes. structure, yes. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, and the verb B is uh, after. The WH questions. <coughs> the first question. Yes. Right? In the, yes. In the second question, uh -huh. the, verb e, the verb E is at the end of the. That's sentence. right. Yes. Is not correct to say, could you tell me where is the bathroom? No, it is not. Not for indirect questions. 
indirect question okay. change. Yeah, the for option. indirect questions, <laughs> the verb changes position. Okay. okay. So you're going you're going to look at the other examples here because this one, could you tell me where the bathroom is? We're using the verb be, okay? But look at the other one, the indirect structure. It says phrase. Cuando digo phrase, son estas que estaban aquí, all right? Yes. Okay, right. phrase plus WH plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Look at this one. Where do, uh, when do the banks open? Do you know when the banks open? All right, so the verb here when do the banks open this verb goes also at the end all right do you know when the banks open como para hacerlo más más sutil la pregunta exacto yeah when do you know when the banks open next quieres hablar el banco Es como sabe a qué horas abre el banco, a qué horas, ajá, a qué horas el banco abre. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Examples, direct. Where is Balmaceda Street? A ver, ¿quién quiere hacer esta antes de que veamos la respuesta? Yo creo que uh, quiere hacerla. Ah, espéreme, espéreme. Vamos a ver si Alejandra está por ahí. O Alejandra o Ale Arias, una de las dos. No, they're not? Okay, entonces el compañero que dijo me, you can do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo me quedaría esa? Where is Balmaceda Street? Uh, the, the, the example of indirect question. Yes, the indirect question. Okay, okay. could you tell me where Balmaceda where, where Bal Street is? Excellent, very good, nice. Oops. Okay. <laughs> could you tell me where Balmaceda Street is? All right, Fatima, next one. Hello, just just give me let me give this explanation. In indirect question with is or the verb is comes after the subject. Exactamente como lo hizo el compañero. Could you tell me where Balmaceda Street is? It's always going to go at the end, all right? Teacher. Yes, Fatima. But uh, another form uh, of indirect question mm -hmm. um, will be do you know where Balmaceda Street is? That's right. Yes, Fatima, because you can play with these um, phrases. You can use any of these phrases, um, Fatima. If they oh. make sense, if they make sense, it's okay. You can say, could you tell me? Do you know? I was wondering, do you have any idea where Balmaceda Street is? Oh. I would like to know where Balmaceda Street is. Would it be possible to know where Balmaceda Street is? It depends what you want to say. Not tanto. But these are like all okay. possible, all right? Okay. All right, very good. Next one here. Another example. Fatima, what time does the bank open? In in in, in uh, indirect question, Fatima. Um, could you tell, uh, could you tell me? Uh-huh. Um, uh, could you tell me what time mm -hmm. the bank open? Open or opens? Opens. Yes, very good. All right. Do you know what time the bank opens? Okay, so you need to remember that when you're talking about singular, the verb must be with S right here. Because what time the bank opens, we don't have auxiliary in that, sent in that question. So we need to use the verb in singular. Like if it is a positive sentence. Do you understand that? Yes. Yeah? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Let's read this one. It says, in indirect questions, we don't use the auxiliary verbs. Do, does, or did. We don't use it. Ever. And because we don't use it, we need the verb with... 
Pelea de soporte. Uh -huh. All right, next one. Uh, I need a, yes. A little bit confused. Can you please uh, get, uh, come back to the... the that uh, one? Yes. What happened? What's your confusion? Indirect. Do you know we, we, we need to use do you know? Yeah. Well, uh, or could you tell but, me? Could you tell me? But in in the um, uh, the rule mm -hmm. that say in, in indirect question, we don't use the auxiliary verbs. No, we don't. Do does did. Mm -hmm. But we are using it in that indirect question in the, in the question. Because you're saying, do you know? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero esa ya es una frase establecida. Ah, ok. For question. Then, yeah. Indirect question. Estas, uh -huh. estas que están acá, son todas las frases que podemos usar y hay más, obviamente, ¿verdad? Okay. Que esta coincida con el do acá, pero esa es la frase que ya está establecida y así está armada. Ahora, no, cuando no, decimos, no usamos el do, el did y el does, es ya después del WH question. Yes. Donde partimos con la, la pregunta original de la forma directa. La forma directa era, what time does the bank open? Okay. In the in the, uh, indirect question, we add the phrase, do you know? We continue with what time. Okay. Luego tenemos what time. Okay. And then, ahí ya no va ningún auxiliar. Y como ya no va ningún auxiliar, el verbo necesita la forma singular. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes. Se la voy a decir en español. Right. Uh -huh. Siempre usamos at durante el tiempo y en este caso en las oraciones indirectas, en las preguntas indirectas no vamos a usar el at. Por ejemplo, do you know at what time the bank opens? Si la lleva en la, en la pregunta directa, póngaselo. Pero en este caso ah. no la estamos usando aquí tampoco, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero sí se puede usar. Yeah, you could. Porque está... Ok, sí. thank you. All right, very good, you're welcome. Ok. This one, a ver, Ramiro. Tiene cara de querer participar, Ramiro. <laughs> Ajá, Ramiro. Why did you move to Chile? Because, because it's a nice country. No, but now I, we're very good, uh, Ramiro, but now I want to know an uh, indirect question. ¿Cómo la, ¿O acaba de entrar, Ramiro? Yes, teacher. Ah, no, es que con eso teacher, era muy pesado, I want compañero. to participate. Yes, okay, tell me. Uh, I, I was wondering uh -huh. why did you, no, no why, did. You move, why you move to Chile? Excellent. I was wondering why you moved to Chile, okay. right? Yeah, because no auxiliary. So the verb needs, okay. needs to go back to the simple past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Again, there is no auxiliary verb did in the indirect question. You understand that? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Very good. Another example. A ver, para ahora. Silvita, yo no la había visto, Silvia, en estos días. Direct. That's okay. How much does the iPhone 7 cost? A ver, Silvia, make that indirect question. Um, sorry, teacher. Acabo de entrar. Um, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, that's okay. Adriana, what about you? Did you just get in? Okay. Can you uh, try? Uh -huh. Yes, I try. Do you know how much uh, the iPhone 7 cost? costs? Costs. With S, all right? Mm -hmm. With S and the, and the finally the cost. 
Yeah, because yes. yeah, because you don't have any auxiliary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I would like to know how much the iPhone 7 costs, okay? Okay. Yes, uh, all right. Uh-huh. It is missing the, the question mark at the end. No, I forgot it. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, pero si la llevo. <laughs> what, what, Walter? The question, the question mark. mark at the end. Hold on. No, you need it. Yeah, you need it. Yeah, you need it, Walter. Let's look at this one. A ver, Amy, Elias, what about this one? Amy, no? A ver, Ana Valencia? Yes. All right, Anita, can you try to do this one for uh, indirect question? Um, okay. Um, do you have, do you have an, any idea? Did you finish the project by tomorrow, Ken? Mm, mm, okay, let's let's check it, Anna, okay? Would it be possible, for example, you can use any of the phrases you want, and they're, right now they're using this phrase. Would it be possible for you to finish the project by tomorrow? Because it's kind of okay. like a future, all right? Yeah. Uh, For direct uh, questions with Ken, listen to this. We can use the phrase, would it be possible to make it indirect? So whenever you guys see Ken, it's okay to change it to, would it be possible? Okay. okay. All right, let's see. Uh, Noemi, can you read this one, please? Okay, it's example. Mm -hmm. It's the direct question. Direct, is yes. direct question. Direct question is direct. yes or no? Yes, yes or no. Indirect question. Indirect question. Direct question. Ah, okay, listen to this one. If the direct question is a yes or no question, then the indirect question will have if, for example, does Tom like Italian food? Aquí ya no estamos hablando de WH question words, okay? Okay. We're talking about yes, no questions. So the direct, the, sorry, the indirect question would be, do you know if Tom likes Italian food. Do you understand the difference between WH question words and the yes, no questions? Also, I think maybe. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. also we, we, we can change, we can change the word if um, for weather. That's right, yeah, you could. Mm -hmm. It would okay, be okay, right. okay. Now, you, you use if when you have yes, no questions, not for WH question words, okay? That's different. Okay. Direct, are your parents joining us for dinner? Could you tell me if your parents are joining us for dinner? Because that's a yes, no question. All right? Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay. We're going to do two activities right now. Number one, I want you to think about three questions, direct questions, okay? One question using WH question with is. Another WH question, how are you going to make four? Another WH question in simple present. And another direct question in simple past and one yes, no direct question. Do you understand? Um, Repeat again, please. Yes, please. that's okay. You're making four questions. Everything direct. Ahorita no se vaya a complicar usted haciendo la indirecta. Es directa. 
Number one, go to H question using B, is or are. Number two, WH question using simple present. Number three, WH question using simple present. And number four, using a yes or no question. Todas son directas. Okay, escriba cuatro ejemplos, cuatro preguntas on your notebook. Ahorita. Directa. ¿Qué dijo? Todas son directas. Tenemos un perrito ladrando por ahí. En el number three. Ok, number one. Niños, hay un perrito ladrando por ahí. Ok, la número uno. La número uno. Yeah, WH with B. Number two. WH with simple present. Number three, WH with simple past. And number three, yes or no question. ¿Sí me entienden? Yes. Ok. Todas tienen que ser directas ahorita. Todas, todas las cuatro son directas. Escríbalas ahorita, les doy, no sé, un minuto y medio para que lo hagan. Cuando terminen, los voy a mandar a su grupo. Y con la persona que queda en su grupo, Noemi, por ejemplo, y Ramiro están trabajando juntos, Noemi le va a decir sus directas y Ramiro las va a cambiar a indirectas. ¿Ok? Y viceversa. Luego Ramiro le dice a Noemi las preguntas directas y Noemi las va a cambiar a indirectas. You understand? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Trabaje Only ahorita. one. Only one. Case. Only one by each. Only no, one. Son cuatro sample. ejemplos. Es yes, un, but yeah, only un, one. Yeah, only one. Yeah, oh, one, one. Yeah, one per group. For each. One mm -hmm. for group. Okay. One for each. Yeah. Thank you. Finished. No? <laughs> no, yo no, no You're thinking. No, este. Estoy buscando todavía la frase donde copié. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, necesito. Tanto puedo Bueno, y Don Elmer no ha entrado, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es sleeping? Me ha sentido. Del pecho, de seguro. Oh. <laughs> Con todo a des... <laughs> okay. Me avisan cuando terminen. Teacher. Yes. Excuse me. Uh, the first form. W H is... with B. With B. Uh huh. Okay. It can be is or are. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, uh, in the number four. Yes. Yes or no. Yes or no? Uh huh. Uh, um, what verb? Doesn't matter. Whatever you want, Anna. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can use is, you can use are, you can use simple present. Uh -huh. Doesn't matter. Oh, for number four. Only for number four. For the other ones, I told you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, 
I finish. All right, very good. Thank you. What about Glenda and Emma? You're finished, ladies? Yes. Excellent. Very good. All right. Roberto finished. Guadalupe, uh, uh, I mean, Eli, Roxana, Walter finished. Ramiro, Daniel. I think so. You think so? Very good. Nice. Uh, Xiomara finished. No. Silvia finished. No. Hurry up, guys, please. I'll give you one more minute, okay? And then we can go to the groups. Noemi finished? Guadalupe finished? I finished too. Excellent, yes. thank you. All right, very good. Lisi finished? Yes. Excellent, very good. Alex Aguilera finished? Yes, I have finished. Excellent, thank you. Is that finished? Normas? I have two normas. Okay, I think everybody's finished. I'm going to send you to your groups right now, and you're going to do what I told you to do. For example, if I am working with Alex Aguilera, Alex will tell me his question number one, and I have to do it indirect question. Ok, y así vamos a ir trabajando las cuatro de él y las cuatro mías. Ok, okay. ¿es ready? Yes. Ok, está ese pendiente de, de la invitación okay. para que pueda trabajar ya con su grupo o su pareja en este caso. Walter, ¿uno hacia el grupo, Walter? Hi, Federico. Hi, teacher. I'm going to say... Good evening. I'm going to send you to a group right now, okay? Okay. Thank you.
Hi Fatima. Hi Norma. Hi teacher. Hi. How are you doing? In the evening, I have a even if I write it, but I, I'm not sure it's, it's correct. What time does the class begin? It's correct. What time does the class begin? Yes. Yeah, it is correct. But, but what what form is this? The first. The first. What time? Say it again. What time does the class begin? That is WH question with simple present. What time simple. does the yes. class begin? Yes. So if it's in direct uh, question, it would be, could you tell me what time the class finishes? Yes, yeah. uh, teacher, but this question is the second form uh, uh -huh. with simple present that's right yes yes but i i don't um the first one the first the first form <laughs> what is the <laughs> with the, with the, verb the structure yes yes ah all right for example i say where is um where is my sister okay right very simple <laughs> Yeah, very simple. Yes. Okay, but uh, I I I make the um, a question. Uh -huh. uh, where where is my son? Is uh -huh. the the first form? Yeah, where, where is my son? Yes, and then I you say, do you okay. know where my son is? Yes, it's indirect question. That's right. Yep, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, you understand now. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Jane. You're welcome. Okay, for the second um Hi, what are what question? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Questions or you're okay? Mommy. Uh, yes. We are, but we are missing only one, the last ah, one. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, the the name the last one. Are your brother join us for join us for playing soccer? How many brothers, Walter? Two brothers. Okay, so are your brothers joining us? Brothers. Join us for playing soccer. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. The answer is Would it be possible if if I'm sorry, I forget. If your brothers, if if your brothers, okay, if your brothers, uh, join soccer, playing playing soccer. Walter, is that okay? Uh, if your brother join us for playing soccer. Um. E Brothers join us. Yes. Okay. Uh, Are you delay, Walter? Are you delay? Okay. For me, is uh, um, I like play soccer. Teacher, I know. I I have a question. Yes. What's your question? And. In the one sentence, mm -hmm. and the direct, direct, direct sentence, direct, 
direct <laughs> sentence de Alex is, do you like play soccer? Do you like okay. to play soccer? To play. Okay. Yeah. Do you like yeah. to play? Ah, sí, veo que están los dos verbos. Okay. And in the indirect, indirect. Sentence, will it be possible? Mm -hmm. Do you like to play soccer is? No. Why? What is your, tell me your direct question again. Do you like to play soccer? Do you like to play soccer? It's simple, present, okay? Yes. So yes, you say, it's a second, it's a yes, second second one. yeah, okay. So you can say, yeah. I was wondering if, do you, uh -huh, if you mm -hmm, like to play uh, If you then, say, if is a yes, yes or no question. Uh-huh. It will be the, the number four. Yeah, because your direct question was, say it again. Do you like to play soccer? Do you like to play soccer? Uh -huh, that yes. Would be, yes, would I, like? I would like to, right? So that's a yes, yes. no question. So that it's was number yes, four. No question. Yes. Mm -hmm. Teacher, you, 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 you write the sentence in the chat, please. For you, Noemi. I know Anderson with, uh, with the read. Okay. Alex said, do you like to play soccer? Right? Yes. Like this. Yeah? Can you see? It? Yes, ma'am. Okay. No. So, Will not do you. Uh -huh. Do you like to play soccer? Uh -huh. Yes. Do you. Oh. Mm -hmm. do you like to play soccer? This is like direct, ¿cierto? Yes. And la otra sería... I, for example, was wondering if you like to play soccer. Oops. Oh. Yeah? Yes. Is the, um, in the between the indirect 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 or uh, in before a subject el if i know antes del subject el if sí claro okay en no lo entendí ajá entonces en el yes no question como es una yes no question siempre va a ir el if okay cuando Just sea uh -huh. oh, sorry, can you give me an example of the sentence number two? Because I try to write, but uh, nothing comes to my, to my mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, number two was WH, simple present, right? Yes. Okay, I can say, hey, Alex, where does Noe, Noe live? Live, all right? Where does Noe live? Where does Noe live? That's a direct question. Okay? Yes. So I can say, Alex, do you know where Noe lives? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, what's yeah, if, about... Hola? If, ¿a dónde lo puso? En ningún lado, porque como no es una yes, no question. Ah, okay. This is the origi original sentences of the number two. That's right, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Porque la que me habían dicho, do you like to play soccer? Sería una yes, no question. Mi respuesta va a ser four. sí o no. Uh -huh. For number four. But yes. number, like mm. ahorita la que acabamos de hacer, dije, where does Noemi, Noemi live? Yes, yes, really. Y como realmente no, es, no conozco a Alex, entonces yo le dirigiera, no le dijera direct, no le pregunto directamente, sino que indirectamente. Entonces le digo, Alex, do you know where, el where lo, el where lo mantengo? Quito, omito el das, ¿sí? El auxiliar. El auxiliar lo omito, pongo el sujeto, que en este caso es Noemi, y agrego el verbo, pero como quité auxiliar, le tengo que agregar la S al verbo para hacerlo singular, para que me pegue con Noemi. Porque Noemi es una uh -huh. tercera persona. Ahora, si yo dijera, por ejemplo... Where, where, usted, where do you live? Okay, where do you live? 
Uso, uso el do, ¿cierto? En mi directa. En mi indirecta sería I, uh, I would like to know. I would like to know where you live. ¿Sí? Me quedaría así. I would like to know where you live. Uh -huh. Porque como ya estoy hablando de ustedes dos, ya se vuelve en plural. Entonces el verbo, sí omito el do, ¿verdad? Pero el verbo no le pasa nada porque estoy hablando de ustedes y ustedes son dos. Entonces es el we. verbo ya no, ya es we. Ya no uh -huh. lleva ese, es cierto. Va a llevar ese para terceras personas singulares. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. Ok, thank you, well, teacher. All right, you're welcome. Tienen que hacer la pasado. ¿Ya hicieron esa de la, del pasado? Ah, no, no llegamos hasta ahí. En la segunda nos hemos quedado. Ah, all right, ok, ok. Pero hoy sí, Pero hoy casi. sí lo entienden. Ah, ahí vamos, ahí vamos. Okay. De todas maneras, mañana igual vamos a seguir con ese tema, porque cuesta un poquito recordar que se le quita los auxiliares y en los verbos ya sea llevan, llevan ese, no llevan eso, o van en pasado si, es, si estaban en el tiempo pasado, ¿cierto? Ok. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Well, um, you you sentence, Alex. Uh, number Bye. three. Okay. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Are you finished? Yes, right now. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, we did. Oh, nice. Can you tell me some examples, please? Okay, James, you. Your pronunciation is very well, try it. <laughs> no, Alberto, your pronunciation is very well. <laughs> La de todos, everybody. <laughs> okay, teacher, uh, in the first uh, sentence. sentence? Uh -huh. Question, yeah. Okay. yeah. Which are the colors of the Salvadorian flag? Oh my goodness, which are the colors of the Salvadorian flag? Aha, uh -huh. very nice. And the Android form is... Do you know the colors of Salvadorian flag are? Do you know what colors are? Say it again. Do you know the colors of Salvadorian flag are? Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Roberto, <laughs> your turn. <laughs> uh, the second one. Uh, where do you go, right? Is the question. Where do you go? Where do you go? Mm -hmm. right. And we, in the indirect form, mm -hmm. could you tell me where you go? Excellent. Nice. All right. Now Federico's turn. Okay, Federico, are you here? Federico's sleeping. Yes. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me the, the example of, uh, hi, Federico. Is, uh -huh, I don't know the example. Do you have the simple past example? Is, no, 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 no tengo los ejemplos, no logré copiar lo que yo uh, hacer, solo he estado escuchando ahorita lo que ah, está haciendo. Ah, okay, Vamos. all right, okay, very good. Okay. Estuvo de oyente. De oyente, okay. very good. A ver, James, ¿cuál fue el ejemplo del pasado? Okay, uh, what did you eat yesterday? Ah, uh -huh. Okay, and the indirect form is, I'd like to know what you ate, I ate Eight. yesterday. Very Eight. good. Okay. Yes, good. and Roberto, nice. the last sentence. The last one, with yes, no question. Yes. Uh, uh, for, we did two. Uh, okay. For example, can Roberto drive your car? Mm -hmm. uh, would it be possible, Roberto, drive your car? No. <laughs> <laughs> would it be possible if? Don't forget the if. Ah, oh, yes, sorry. if. Okay. Oh. Okay. No, Roberto says no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Oh, Roberto, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what, what about the other one? You told me you one? had two. Ah. Uh, uh, the other one was, uh, can Carlos swim? Okay, right? yes, okay. Would, would it be possible if Carlos swim? Okay. Yes. All 
All right, okay. very good. Nice, guys. Very nice. Okay, we're going to head back to the main group, okay? Okay. 10 with, with a smile. Yes, a happy face. Yes. Happy face. <laughs> Yeah, just let me look for, I don't know. Hold on. O lo que era azul y se lo dejaron rojo. Roxana, Xiomara, Nana, why are you speaking Spanish? Ay, no, no. <laughs> I have uh, many doubts. Ah, okay, very good. Okay. I, and uh -huh. in this answer, what color, what color did you prefer to your hair? I am telling them that he, may, maybe he wanted uh, blue and, okay. uh, and the, the hair now is, is red. And the, what color did you prefer to your hair? Ah, okay. What color did you prefer your hair? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, in the, in the past it will be, in the would you tell... And the under and the and the and the in the in the indicted time. What could could you tell wow. me uh, what color you preferred to your hair? Okay. Could you, yeah. And then you have you to have prefer in past. In past. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could you nice. tell me mm -hmm. uh, what color you uh, preferred, you preferred your hair? Uh, you preferred to your hair. All right, very good, nice, good. Okay, thanks. Okay, we're gonna go back to the main group and then I'm gonna give the last instructions for tomorrow's class, okay? Okay. 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 It's some time. Bye, see you, mom. Bye. Okay, guys, is everybody with me now? Yeah? Yeah. Yes. 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 All right, very good. Um, I wasn't able to go to everybody's group because I was uh, helping some of the groups that were like having problems with this. Don't worry, tomorrow we will continue talking about this topic and we will do some more practices, okay? Because I know it's not difficult, but lo que pasa que hay como reglas que recordar y que seguir. All right, so that's why it's a little bit com like a little bit complex, but nothing to worry about. So tomorrow we're going to continue talking about this um, topic and I'm going to give you more exercises. Okay, so you guys feel okay. sure about this um, topic. So thank you very much. I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, oh, the time is over. Time okay. is over already. All right, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please rest and study your English. Okay. Okay, okay. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.